This is Witchspace News for Friday the 28th of June 2019 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Frontier hosts another Discovery Scanner livestream, the Enclave Interstellar Initiative is announced and we have a couple of notable community anniversaries. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings as well as squadron and community events. And if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below and if you've got a piece of elite related community news you'd like us to feature you can email us via the burpit.newsdesk at gmail.com Frontier hosted the latest of their regular Thursday livestreams last night and this week they featured another of their Discovery Scanner episodes where they explore behind the curtain and show a little of the making of Elite Dangerous. In this episode senior community manager Will Flanagan was joined by 3D artists Jordan Clary and Pavel Pazinski who gave a fascinating step by step look at bringing the crate Mark II from the drawing board to actual spaceship in the game. Suffice to say it's a complicated process but I particularly enjoyed the sections on kit bashing new ship prototypes together, making sure that everything inside the ship like SLF bays and hardpoints etc all have an actual place and actually fit in a logical way and the generation of ship debris that is formed from the model of the destroyed vessel. They go on to talk about the destruction effects within the ship, the glass breaking and external sparking something I'm particularly used to seeing and also thrusters and other special effects. Discovery Scanner is always interesting as a series but this episode in particular really helped to underline the attention to detail that Frontier goes into with this stuff. It's well worth a look. While I'm on the subject of Frontier the latest interstellar initiative was announced yesterday. This is the second of Frontier's new wave of multi week community goal events. The latest is called the Enclave and centres around the gathering and production of the mysterious meta alloys that the Thargoids seem so keen on. I won't go too heavily into spoiler territory here and it seems Frontier are a little more sensitive to that as well for this initiative but as with the previous initiative the Enclave is launching with an introductory video featuring Will Flanagan. This time however it's only detailing the start of the initiative and not all the steps for the event thereby helping to keep the thing a surprise ...whatever the thing is. The video appeared in a forum post about the initiative and that post will be updated as we go along. The initiative itself starts on Thursday the 4th of July by your puny human calendars. This week saw some notable anniversaries within the elite community. Firstly Turgeon's Travels, the comedy drama series created by Commander Turgeon Starstone had its 50th episode and the event was underlined by Turgeon making a video that delves into how the series came about and interestingly how it gets made. I was fascinated in particular by the 3D character models he uses and the lip syncing. The hours and hours of lip syncing. EDSM, the Elite Dangerous star map is 4 years old this week. This invaluable tool and database facility has become an absolute staple of the ED community tracking commander movements, expeditions and discoveries all across the Elite galaxy. If you've not seen them already I urge you to take a look at the EDSM traffic reports on YouTube. They are a fascinating insight into the often unseen back and forths across the vast expanse of the space we all inhabit. If you're not using and contributing to it already then there's a handy video by Commander Exegius linked below that will get you started. And as a final note the Burr Pit itself, this very YouTube channel, was one year old on Wednesday this week. I put out my first episode of Witch Space News on the 26th of June last year. About 5 months after it started my wife Commander Rini came on board as our in-house camera operator. We now have a Discord server and host regular community events and outings. We love our little community, it's such a genuinely heartwarming part of our day with plenty of laugh out loud moments and we're excited to see it grow and develop alongside the channel and the game. Thank you everyone that's been following and supporting us this last year. There's so much more to come. It's a very exciting time to be a pretend astronaut. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. 
We'll be back later this week with more videos until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>